Hello, all my lovely people. I love you, and I thank you, each and every one of you all, for the good energy that y'all give me. And I thank you, new subscriber, today. I'm slowly getting there, slowly but surely. I have faith that Spirit's bringing me the people I need to to uh, give some messages to and that they'll hit subscribe. And if you're new and you get even one little message out of here and you know it's for you, then the right thing to do is hit subscribe. Ow, gosh, I burnt myself with that lighter on top of it. But I love you all very much, and I hope that I can help y'all on your spiritual journey or just find out info that rings true to you in your journey. I hope I can be a service to you, and I'm lighting this candle. Oh, wow. Spirit, I about dropped it. And I'm lighting this candle that's uh, yellow and purple, so that's going to get our... I think it's our, hang on a minute. I know a crown shocker is purple and our our solar plexus is yellow. So this is what we're, I'm helping to heal is your self-esteem and your, uh, you know, uh, this is about your willpower and your personal power and your personal responsibility and your self-esteem, that solar plexus. And that's what I'm trying to help you all heal at the moment. And I'm trying to help, um, your all's, uh, you know, your crown chakra, you know, and that's purple and it's located on top of your head and this will help you uh, open up to that higher state of consciousness and you you have divine connection with source of spirit and that's what it is and I love y'all and I hope I can just help you all just a little bit. So let's get into this. Hopefully I can help you a lot, but at least just a little bit, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm trying to figure out which ones to use for you all. I'm going to use this. I remember the time tarot deck. I'm going to do a tarot reading today. Tarot reading for... Oh, wow. Tarot reading for you, Star, since it come out. Ooh, for you, Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius, you know, you have faith. That brings hope and inspiration to others. And you're renewed in yourself at the moment. You're feeling a renewal. And, you know, you're. this is all about spiritual healing and rejuvenation. Healing from past wounds. Finding a higher purpose in life. Wow. That's what a star Aquarius is, does. Or, I mean, you don't have to be an Aquarius, but that's what it means, you know. And So, Spirit, who is this reading? pertaining to today is it aquarius oh it's taurus taurus and who else taurus and libra Ooh, divine feminine divine masculine you hear that okay that's who it's for divine feminine and divine masculine so you're all healing and you're all finding your your way to each other you know because you're healing them old wounds Ooh, wow and because y'all started searching for truth and answers and you're going to receive them, you know. Your your spirit will tell you if you're doing the right way. Excuse my hair, it's turning gray again. But, you know, I'm older and that's what it's supposed to do. But, you know, you received a wake-up call and, and you had to take the necessary time out and heal yourself, stars, you know, and divine feminine, divine masculine. And, and, uh somebody's heart and feelings was no longer involved and you had to just turn and walk away from that situation see that man walking away uh you know you had to remove yourself from some kind of horrible situation star star that's what y'all had to do and what else thank you spirit Oh, judgment. You was judged for your own you was judged for your actions and maybe people was judging you harshly because uh, because they knew that you had a higher inner calling and you had a purpose on your life and you wasn't understanding why that you kept receiving karma and kept going around these people, but it was because you had to, you had to leave them people and start having faith in yourself, you know, and, you know, and Libra, you know, it come out towards and Libra, this, you know, 
This is about judging, you know, being in your higher self and not your lower, not your lower self, you know, and, uh, cause you're, you're, you know, we're just learning about reincarnation and you're, you're rebirthed, you, a new self, that's what it is. It's, it's a call of action and an end of an error. So, the, so it, when you went inside like the star, Taurus and Libra, and you all started healing and you was bringing hope and inspiration to others, you know, because you, you healed from those past wounds and you walked away from people, places, things that wasn't any for you. And you walked away from these people that's placing judgment on you all the time, you know, and now you're going to be called. You're being seen as the person who judges, you know, and now Towers is going to hit these people, five, five, five. They better change. They better change and because destruction, devastation, and disaster. There's a sudden event that's going to bring shocking awareness to you, or it already did, you know, and it, this is about weak relationships ending, and it's a wake-up call that brings change, total chaos, and tragedy, and trauma. So you was being judged because you was trauma bonded to these people, you know. And they kept sending chaos magic towards you. Chaos wanted you to act up. You know, but here old Knight of Pentacles is. And he's wanting to come in with a commitment or being committed to you. Okay, so this is some Taurus energy. I mean, so it's Earth. And uh, they're going to start taking responsibility for their own actions, you know. And just remember, slow and steady always wins the race. Uh, and this is a very supportive and dependable person, and you're building your empire or foundation. So, see, what it's saying is all that judgment that you received, stars, Libra, and Taurus, even Aquarius, all that judgment you received, it did nothing except made you build you're building your own foundation at the moment that means you started your own business or you started a new relationship and that's that's what everybody needs ain't it to feel good about their self and then here we got king of cups you're expressing your true feelings you know and this this knight of pentacles you know that's coming towards you s slow steady movement it, it might be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and but it doesn't have to be. It's just somebody showing compassion and being supportive of you, and it's an unbiased person, and they, they're not quick to judge. So that's great. So Taurus or Libra, you ain't quick to judge, and, and that's how you need to be, you know. Oh, and this King of Cups wants to has the upper hand at the moment, and they want you to know that you're going to receive public recognition for your for what you're doing and you're going to achieve lots of things and you're going to win a you're getting ready to a win a big victory because you're on top of your game and you're being the best of the you're being the best of the best with the best of the best and you're having fulfillment and love relationship right now this king of cups wants to uh be in a relationship with you they want to give all their love to you. That's what it is. And, uh, I mean, you had faith, you know, that you would have the upper hand. And that's good. And these people, at you, uh, this, you that walking away and you started searching for truth and answers, uh, you know, you had to take that necessary time out, you know, to... You know, to uh, to take your heart and feelings out of that situation. And now, you're being called to action. And it, they're wanting you to be more adventurous with them at the moment. Because you're a free spirit and full of energy. They're wanting to sweep you off your feet. Okay? So, this could be a young uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag wanting to... Uh, that's very determined and passionate around you at the moment. Or you could have children like oh no but here here's what it is uh you was being swept off your feet by this third party i guess uh there was a third party interfering in your life and it was you felt heartbreak pain and sadness from these people you know and you, you had a lot of tears and crying and grief and depression you because you was emotionally unhappy and 
you was always getting in arguments that would lead to separation or and breakup. So, uh, judgment is, don't worry. That person that tried to cause all that chaos in your life, they're going to get judged for doing this to you. And, and then, you know, because they was just trying to tear down everything that you built. They didn't give a damn. They don't give a shit. They just want to tear it totally down. But they didn't understand that you're a true magician, did they? Oh, no. I'm an Aquarius. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm a true magician. Air is the magician. We know how to manifest. Uh, we manifest our own realities because we, we always have an open mind about the outcomes. And we have all the tools to manifest the life of our dreams and, because we we have mastered all the elements. Earth, fire, air, water. Okay? And this person that's coming in with a commitment or or that is already committed to you, they see you as supportive and dependable person. They want to build an empire with you, and they understand that they was unable to make a decision because they're probably already caught up with somebody else. See how he's caught up? See that? And, you know, you had to meditate about this person and look at things differently and that's how you became aware. That's how you became aware that that uh, this person had a lot of feelings, but they couldn't do anything about it because they was being adored with love and affection from another. That's what it is. That's what it is, Taurus and Libras. And and it, they was you was taking on all the own responsibilities of theirs because they was lying to you. And they wasn't yours, and you was being took for granted or taken advantage of. And that was a heavy burden of love and stress in your relationship. And having too much on your plate because you was being pushed too far and not able to say no. So you learned how to say no, you know, to these people. It could be this King of Cups. What's the outcome, Spirit? What's the outcome? The outcome is wish fulfillment, nine of cups. Everything you wish for is coming true. Look here. Look here. Look how good this is. Look, star. Hang on. Star, six of cups, nine of cups, six of wands and nine of cups. What else do you need? I mean, <clears throat> you know, star. the star card is about wishes and having faith, you know, and six of wands is about uh fulfillment in your love life and your and relationship goals you know and your job goals and nine of cups you know that's your wishes is coming true and you're going to receive an award or achievement oh wow you have self-respect and self-love for yourself and others and you're going to be living the good life and being in the spotlight and being intimate and making love with this person oh wow did you hear that thank you spirit i love you and i'm so grateful for you and I'm so grateful for all these people out here. And I hope they'll go ahead and hit subscribe and help me. Because I learn new things every day to teach these people. And what's happening is uh, you're going through life cycles at the moment. And if you ever looked at these cars, this is Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. And, you know, you're having a huge turning point. In, in your life and great fortune and wealth is coming towards you if you're on this card right here like i said if you're an aquarius a scorpio a taurus or a leo don't you worry because you're going to have a great fortune because karmic completion of cycles is happening and you're moving moving forward on your destiny that's the outcome so i mean hell that's a good reading i love it spirit don't you i love it so love is coming to you Honey bunches, don't you guys just worry. Not you worry nothing about it, okay? Hang on a minute. I'm trying to... I'll give y'all a message of mine, okay? I believe I turned so I'm upside down, but I can't help it. What is it that Star needs to know today, Spirit? Oh, hang on. I got two or three more over here. Spirit, what is it that Star needs to know? Uh, you're a person that brings your dreams to life. 
You work hard daily to bring your dreams to reality. You could make cards daily. Something like I do. Could you there know, star and and this this person that you turned away and walked away from, they're trying desperately to stop your messages from getting out in the public. That's what it is. Because they know that your messages are, they ring true and they understand and they're going to be judged. And because they're getting judged because it says, I believe somebody don't have a damn clue about who or what the hell they want. Now they're in brain frog, not knowing who or what the hell they want. Ain't it funny? <laughs> Oh, wow. Or maybe they're saying you don't know who the hell or what you want. I know exactly what I hell I want. And towers falling because this man only wants you to stroke his damn ego. And that shit ain't happening over here. So if you think I'm going to build you up, I'm not. So let's get out of all the ego now. <laughs> That's what they're... They can't believe that you stopped stroking their ego. And now, now they don't know if they want you. Because huh? that's called a fucking narcissist. If that person... If you don't stroke their ego and it's saying, no, no, don't go back. It's saying, it's not a pinnacles. It's saying, baby, please come back to me and let me put one over on you again. No. See, you've learned better. You're not stroking his ego. And what about King of Cups wanting to say? What about King of Cups wants to say, spirit? You can't convince people who you truly are, but God will show them through divine intervention his new child. So this King of Cups, this fatherly figure, this person that you might have been interested in, they they you was trying to convince this person that you is a good person, and Spirit said, don't worry about that because they're going to see that you're a new being, and don't you worry nothing about it. And Six of Wands... Is coming to this man or woman is highly adored in their community, and you always try to bring people together. That's what you're going to get acknowledgments for. And this, uh, you taking action and being adventurous and uh, the warrior and courageous, you're a free spirit because you're a spiritual person. You're a free spirit, okay? And somebody don't want your spiritual messages getting out. And what about three, uh, three of swords spirit? This man or woman is or was a third party in your life. See? Spirit's right. Go ahead and hit subscribe and show this to people so they know I'm true, okay? And magician, what magician need to know today? I love y'all, and I thank you. Oh, look here. You're alchemizing. Look, magician, look, you're alchemizing. It says when you meet a twin, you'll lock, lock eyes, and it will feel very intense, and it's like you've known each other before and can sense that you are connected. You're coming together with your twin, you're alchemizing it. Oh, wow. We thank you for that, don't we, Spirit? And what about the hangman? This person unable to make a decision in their life and movement has stopped. They're plotting and scheming again, trying to figure out how they can get around your energy. Don't don't let that person around your energy. When they say come back, say no, no, hell no. And so you was involved with somebody else and... And now this person's understanding that you have a spiritual partner, a twin, and you're going to them. And I don't blame you. And they're going to see this new child of you. And you had a lot of burdens on your back. And it could be from an uncle or uncle figure in your life. Um, the issues could have stemmed from an uncle. What else for that one, Spirit? What else for this uncle card? It says, childish people does childish things. So whoever his uncle figure is in your life, they're childish. Um, but this could be a brother of yours with kids, so that would say, you know, uncle too. But it could be uh, somebody that's old as your uncles and you looked up to them like as an uncle figure. But you'll get the story in a minute. But nine of cups... Wish fulfillment, everything's coming true because you're an empath and you can feel everyone's energy and you can teach people about energy and how to read energy. And and that's why you're gonna get you're gonna get your wishes. And what about wheel of fortune, life cycles moving forward, great fortune and karmic completion of cycle? You karmically completed. It says somebody is doing background checks on you and on your person because they are just nosy as hell and are too invested in your business way too much 
And don't worry, that karma is going to come back to them. They're going to get investigated. Ain't it funny? I love you, spirit. Spirit's so funny, ain't they, spirit? You're so funny. And you're a person that brings your dreams to life. You work hard daily. Uh, yeah, because you're a person that is sent to make others see that their wrong deeds will only get them karma in the end. Yeah, good for you, star. You know, this is what you're called to do. You you mean you help people with that. Teaching about karma and you Taurus and Libra. And somebody don't want your message to get out to the public. It could be somebody that you worked with or live beside of or something. And I believe it's a work situation because it says, hey, I want to grab you by the P-U-S-S-Y. And then they go around gossiping and lying and mocking you. And uh, and they're mad because that you didn't want anything to do with them. And this is an old boss of yours that you worked with every day. And they might be, they're hooked to your internet. They don't want your fucking messages getting out. And they it says, uh, I believe somebody don't know what, they don't have a damn clue about who or what they want in life. That's what these people are going around saying. And they need to learn how to stay to their own damn self and leave me alone and you all alone out here. Because we are Hayokas and we are the strongest type of empaths. And, and we open people's minds to new perspectives by acting as a mirror and poking satirical fun at the situation, making light of serious circumstances, allow people to see themselves in a different way and begin to heal rather than be stuck in a wallowing point of view. And I got that from your tango. So, uh... They think because you're doing this spiritual practice, you don't know who or what the hell you want. But that's ill people. They don't know who or what the hell they want. They just want, they're envious of their neighbors. You're not supposed to want what your neighbor has. And this man only wants you to stroke his ego. And that's fucked up. Did you know that? Uh, this, this, this. Yeah, uh, it could be a Gemini. This man wants you to stroke his ego, and your personality is logical, clever, skillful. You love mental pursuits and learning new things. You're very curious. So this Gemini might have wanted you to build them up. Uh, what about baby come back? So I'm putting one over on you. you know, someone is getting exactly what God wanted you to have because you had faith in his timing. So no, don't go back to that because you're getting ready to get what God wants you to have and you can't convince people who you truly are but God will show them through divine intervention. His new child. Because we know the truth and we speak on it. We speak on it daily. And, and this man or woman is highly adored in their community and going to get accolades in their community. What's that person need to know, Spirit? What well, about this person is going to get... You're consciously manifesting your person into your life because you focus on it intently. See? That's how you're getting it. And signs of a spiritual... Oh, well, spiritual people, don't give all your power away or your visions for the sake of being accepted by those same people that that's not wanting you to shine brightly. Don't, don't give your time to them people, spiritual people. Don't. People that don't give a shit really about you. And it could be a third... This third party in your life, it could be. It, this third party in your life, it said it could be uh, your boss and they wanted to build a life with you and they got intense love for you, this third party. And this twin of yours, oh, it's Venus, love, Libra, and Taurus. It's for you all. I love y'all. Go ahead and hit subscribe. See, it's for you. The spirit knowed it was. So you're all twins. And this person that keeps plotting and scheming behind your back, um, who is that person, spirit, that keeps plotting and scheming behind Taurus and Libra's back? Who is that person that, who is that person that keeps... It didn't say it. Hang on a minute. Who is that person that keeps plotting and scheming? Um, you got to use your sixth sense and be aware of the woman's intuition. Go with your gut instinct. So your guts is telling you it's somebody close to you. That's why your guts is bubbling, bubbling. So listen to what I'm saying. <clears throat> and this uncle could be involved in this situation or setting you up and they do childish shit. Who is this person? 
Uh, and uh, they're starting to sound more like a, all they do is lie, bullshit lie. That's all they know how to do. And we're telling you right now, you're just a damn bullshit liar, okay, old man or young man. And you're an empath and we can feel everyone's energy. Oh, wow. And you, you, this woman or man is very promiscuous. They like being in the player energy and feisty. Hey, baby. So this person that you thought was wish fulfillment, you're an empath and you could feel that they was a player. And spirit got you away from that. See how spirit is? I love you, spirit. 25-25, woo, 77. And some and karma's coming back to these nosy bunch of group of people. And it says use your discernment. Using your own discernment will steer you away from evil people and places that's not meant for you. And spirit will lead you to the light, good side. They moved you away from these nosy people. I love you, spirit. I love you, spirit, and maybe you're a person that teaches lessons to all these players. It's funny when the players get played by a woman. It's damn funny. Use your sixth sense because God, you had the faith in God's timing, and you learned that this person was a player. That's what it was, Taurus and Libra. You know, and you know, I got a lot of Libra in me, so I'll take some of that message for me too. And what does this say? No, that wasn't a good one. What does this say? Oh, no, no, that wasn't a good one. Somebody might be a murderer. It said, when you have to figure out on your own what is real and what ain't real, then, of course, you could act like wishy-washy up and down and out of sorts. This may be a karmic lesson needed learned. That's what it was. Karmic lesson needed learned, and you learned it, and I love you. And go ahead and hit subscribe because I'm helping you. Don't be around these people. You keep, you keep karma keeps coming. A lot of money you got to keep paying out. A lot of same cycles going back. Fight, fight, fight. Cuss, cuss, cuss. That's not good. And they went and lied on the Bible on a divine being saying you was crazy. And they sent psychopaths towards you. Oh, wow. Thank you for telling on these people that you worked with. And you was a, and they was a much better person when you was in their lives trying to teach them about drugs and different things. And... And uh, if if I have to tell you all, all the wrongs that you've done to me, why would I forgive you when you come at me with your sorries when I know you only apologize when you get caught in the act? And religious people know that we know exactly what they've done to us and Divine Masculine's seen it all. And all this person did, this people up here sit back and lie and run your name through the dirt and the ringer, and now that you're healing, they want to come back. Do not. Do not let them because your soul life mission is to let your love shine out into the world. Don't let them, baby. This is your life purpose. Do not let them. And the person that you is inquiring on today, they it's safe for you to love them. Okay? So don't worry because that person loves you big and they see the changes you've made and they want to be with you. Oh, yes, they do. So don't you worry. And I keep making them good cards for us every day. And I love y'all, Taurus and Libra. And go ahead and hit subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you know me, share it with our friends. Because I need to help. Peace, love, light, no dark. Don't let no dark over here. I love y'all and I'll see you tomorrow.